Hi everybody, Joe Brancato, the Airgun Scientist in the Skunk Works Lab. Today we're going to look at the Zabroya line. Uh, the Zabroya is available in three different varieties, well, actually two and a half. Uh, a rifle carbine with 350, 450, and 550 millimeter barrels, available in 177 and 22, as well as the bull pups. Uh, and I say two and a half because it's two versions of the bull pups, so that's kind of the half. They're both bull pups, but one is called the Kozak, and then the Kozak Fully Compact. So let's take a look first at the rifle. Um, all of them, all of the Zoebroya are available in 22 as a 10 shot repeater or in 177 as a 12 shot repeater. These guns are fully regulated. Uh, and the nice thing about these guns is normally you can fill a gun at 225, 200, 225, 250 bar and get a lot of shots. These guns you can fill as high as 300 bar and get a lot of shots. Um, they're really a, a nice quality gun for the money too. Let's take a look at the length of the Cossack. Okay, this is the Cossack with the 450 millimeter, and that comes out to mm, 40 and a half inches. Okay, 40 and a half inches. That's that's about a normal size rifle. They're half inch threaded here, so that you can just put on. They already have a, a, a suppressor in the shroud, but they also unscrew the cap, that was per our directions, and uh, they install half inch 20s on them as well. Let's take a look at the weight, okay? In fact, I think we'll just weigh all three at the same time, maybe. Let's take, do you mind me moving around, Rick? I know you're loving that. Okay, is that on? Yep, she's on. So let's take a peek at the rifle. Okay, and that comes out at just under seven pounds, all right? Six pounds, 15. So that's just under seven. So you have the length, you have the, uh, you have the weight. 10 shots in 22, 12 shots in seven, 177. Also, uh, these fill through the front like a, with a probe like most of the other guns out there. Um, the interesting thing about this particular gun, it's a straight pullback. You don't cock the bolt up and down like that. You just go this little thumb thing here and pull it, push it forward. That's it, simple as that. No up and down. Picatinny rail, kind of cool. Now let's look at the bull pups. That was really our interest that we wanted to show you guys. Let's put that there. All right, now the Cossack, this is the original Cossack and the Cossack FC. We call the Cossack a tactical bull pup. And what I mean by that is a tactical bull pup is what we refer to as this one that doesn't go all the way back. The action does not quite go to the bull pad, uh, go to the butt pad, as opposed to the Kozak FC. FC stands for fully compact, and now you'll know why. It does go all the way back to the butt pad. So that makes the gun shorter. So what do we do? We can put a longer barrel on it. So while the original Kozak was available in 330, 450, and 550 millimeter barrels. The Kozak is now available in 450 and 550 barrels, but with the same length. Look, this is the 550 next to a 450 Kozak. So the Kozak 450 and a Kozak FC 550. Just thought we'd show that to you. Let's take a look at the weights. They're gonna be similar. See if our scale's still on, yep. All right, so let's get the scale out there. Six and a half, six, seven. Got to clear that puppy. Give us a second here. You're killing me here. All right, there we go. Yeah, about the same, okay? I mean, that could be different in the densities of the wood. Uh, so six and a half pounds-ish. Overall length with the 550 for the Kozak FC is 27 and a half-ish. Same thing for the, uh, oh, I should do it this way so you guys can see the, and gals can see the tape. Just under 27 and a half, and 27 and a half, almost 28. 
What is nice about the Kozaks? The anti-double loading feature. So a lot of times when you put a, um, a pellet in a gun, and we're going to dry fire this for a reason, okay, to show you how it works. Okay. Now, come up close, Rick. Now, you've got a, you just shot your pellet. You cock the gun. The magazine rotates. You insert the pellet. It goes all the way in. Now the gun is loaded. Let's say you um, forget that it's loaded and you decide you want to cock it again. It will not re-index the magazine. A lot of guns will re-index the magazine and you'll double load it. That's very common. Not with the Kozaks or the uh, Hortizia. That's an anti-load or the Kozak FC that is. So that's a pretty big deal. Uh, they all come with the Picatinny rails. Okay, and that's about it. I mean, we're just trying to show you quickly what this gun can do. Nice manometer in the front, Weica gauges. Uh, this, it's, it's a good quality little gun because it has regulator in it, and it's well under $1,000. We're, we're in the $800 range here. So a gun like this is a great entry gun, if not a gun you've already, hey, I'm not just going to buy an entry gun. Uh, this is a gun I'm going to graduate up to if you started out with something less. Multi-shot, regulated, um, Picatinny rail, 4,500 PSI fill. You can't go wrong. Anyway, that's the Kozak, Kozak FC and the Hortizia from Zabroya. We just thought we'd throw that out there and let you guys start to find out a little bit more about it. Uh, go to ZabroyaUSA.com if you want more information. Take care. God bless. Safe shooting. Cheers.